Welcome back to Kiss. Welcome back to yet another video. In this video, we are going to learn how to make a smoke detecting circuit. Now, as you can understand by the name, this circuit can be used for detection of smoke. Now, the smoke can be usually LPG or butane in our household. Now, without wasting any further of our time, let's dig into this. So, for this video, we are going to need a breadboard, a 9 volts battery, our MQ6 smoke sensor, an LED, a buzzer, and some male to male jumper wires. Right. So, before going further, let us discuss something about this sensor. This is an MQ6 smoke sensor that is usually used for detecting uh, gases like uh, LPG, butane, etc. Now, it has four pins. One is from uh, from if we go from the right, it has VCC, then ground. These are both for connections for powering it up, and the two A0 and D0 pins. A0 is for analog pin, D0 is for digital pin. Now, these are signal pins that you are going to take from this sensor. Now, this can be connected to a microcontroller, or they can be directly utilized as an electrical signal. Now, let us continue with the circuit. Now. I will take a breadboard, place the MQ6 sensor like this. Now, let us connect our battery. Now, I will be connecting the positive terminal of the battery to VCC and the negative terminal to the ground of our sensor. Now, as you can see, the sensor has light up. Now, this is indicating that sensor has started powered up. Now that we have connected our battery, let us give connections to buzzers and LED. Now, we will take our buzzer, right, and at any empty cell, I am going to connect our positive and negative terminal of our buzzer. Right? Then we going to take LED, our LED. I will connect the positive terminal to where we have connected our positive terminal of the buzzer and the negative to the negative terminal of the buzzer. Now, giving connections to these LEDs and our sensor. What I am going to do is, we are going to use male to male jumper wires. Now, taking Talking about the positive uh, terminals, I will connect the positive terminal in this manner. One pin here and the other pin goes to the VCC or the positive terminal of the battery. Now, the negative terminal that we have taken will be going to D0 of our sensor. Now that we have completed our circuit, let us check whether it is working or not. For that, I will be using an incense stick. Now, as you see, whenever I put the incense stick near the sensor, it is beeping. That is, the buzzer is beeping and the LED is glowing. Now, after some time, the circuit will stop. I mean, the signal from the D0 pin will be stopping and our LED will stop glowing and the buzzer will stop the making sound. Now, let us check it once again. As you can see, whenever there is a smoke, the circuit lights up. Now let it cool and as you can see it has turned off. Now thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something new. Please like, share and subscribe.